that flows under natural earth or on top of natural earth. What does that mean? It means, yeah, it has to have natural vegetation left and right of it. Um, animals, fishes, marine animals have to be thriving in it. It means this is life-giving water. And it is from this source, not the chlorine and this and that and that, that block and calcify everything that we are to be drinking. So, you master the water energies. Now, what you have to remember, your body has chambers. So, it means you. Now, if you are in tone and in tune with water, you can actually become a water bender. You can control where you put water. There are people um, able to control that. People can store water in other pockets and deliver it and actually quench their thirst later. So in the beginning when they were drinking the water, it wasn't for quenching their thirst and it didn't. But later when they needed water to quench their thirst, so although they already have water in them, they were still thirsty of water. They are water benders. Now when you bring that into cartoons, you make it Dragon Ball Z, good. If you've mastered the art of delivering the perfect water and bending water within your, your personal body, it means now you, 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 you have combined the mastery of your earth energies with your water energy. You're two steps closer, but you have enhanced your antenna to your water energy. If waters have any messages for you from the, from the bigger realm of water, you're going to get it. Now, air. In today's world, the air is filthy. But imagine a world where we were living in the Amazon or the Ghanaian jungles, yeah? Where um, the air was saturated by the trees, dense forestation, and we had oxygen in abundance. That would be considered, yeah? Natural air. Your water should be fed with that and then it needs to be under natural sun so the water needs to be under all these four elements in order to be considered natural and then you master it because you've made sure it was under all those four elements and when you take it in you feel it and you get not only a physical re revitalization from it but also a spiritual connectivity from it you add that to your earth connectivity now the air on its own, like I said, Amazon rainforest, dense jungle, Ghanaian rainforest, Nigerian rainforest, Africa in general, yeah, fresh. That's all you access. Now you've added the third energy. You're mastering the art of neutralizing the four energies in your body, which has already been neutralized, but now you're mastering the control of it. Now, the sun. You can't capture the sun. So how do you master it? You simply access it at the times where, because the sun gives photosynthesis, but it is not photosynthesis for you 100% of the time it's out. There's a moment of the day where the sun comes out, very early in the morning, yeah, between six, yeah, and about nine-ish, yeah, it's called photosynthesis sun, um, sun. That's growth sun. And evening time, yeah, and yumre time, yeah, these two suns are called growth suns. So you've mastered the art of knowing which sun you need. And now, you spend your life balancing these four. You're eating the foods that your blood likes. You're eating the amounts that your body needs. You're, 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 you're chasing life. You're chasing the four pillars of life. Where's the religious part in this?
Yesterday I was reading and someone said, um, if you equalize yourself to sound at, I believe, 435 HZ, yeah, you will find that it's amazing. Yes, yeah, energy. Sound is energy. And we tap into energy. When you eat food, you're tapping into energy. And energy can be even sweet at the taste. Energy, water, can be quenching at the taste, can be soothing at the taste. Air can be refreshing at the taste. Energy, sun can be warming at the feel. Energy, sound is energy, vibrations. So I told this person, listen, what people do not realize is that the ultimate weapon is a biological weapon. But a biological weapon will be a weapon that allows the host, yeah, to basically eat itself alive. And my friend said, what do you mean? And this me, you see, do you know why? Listen, this, this, listen carefully to my reasoning, yeah? And this can be scientifically proven. This me, do you know why, yeah, um, white people's music, yeah, in terms of Historically, let's say it's Mozart, slow songs, one tone, diff, um, one tone, not many beats. He said no, and this is me, okay. And this is me, do you know why black people's music is so congested with beats? Yet yeah, black people are easily able to move energetically to it. He said no, and this is me because sound is energy. Sound creates energy. So watch this. Culturally, yeah, black, um, white people, yeah, are not known to be the inventors of drumming. It means they're not known to be the beginners of sound. Because in order for one to dance, one has to hear rhythmic sound. So the beginners of dance, yeah, which were Africans, drums, the most ancient drums. Africans have drums for everything, including Fonton From, yeah, which is um, um, the talking drum. So they even talk with it. They talk with the drums. It means they mastered the art of sound. So the training for movement with sound they have left that behind long time. They, they had now reached the rhythmic stage and they had added other sounds to it. So it became part of their upbringing, part of their culture, that they can hear so many sounds and yet pick up the sound. You see, what Azonto has destroyed is this. Um, Azonto takes one person, a lead dancer, and the lead dancer everyone takes from. It means the lead dancer is taken from a particular sound within the whole song and the beats, the moves are going to that sound. But an African beat and an African song has many sounds and if you, if you told, listen, if I said, okay, 15 of you, yeah, a new song has come out, listen to it, dance to it, yeah, I bet you any money, I can tell you which beat that drum, oh sorry, that dancer is picking up the most and why his flow or her flow is that way. Because although they're flowing with the music, they've concentrated on a particular beat. Why? Because culturally it has been ingrained in them sound and they're able to listen within the chaos and pick the one that they energize to the most. And that's the one they will dance to. That's the one they will win the competition with. But because the, the sound effect, yeah, is new, the energy effect is new to the white man, um, they have to neutralize it. Because 
when you slow an Azonto song to that four five sorry four three five page Z, you will find you won't get the same effect. But when you slow most Western songs to that level, you will get a perfect order. A perfect order. As though as though is is people marching to the sound of one person's beat. No creativity, no innovation, no freedom, no heart. And it, you realize all of a sudden is a lockdown situation on inspiration. Funny world, isn't it? Energy. Listen. As I stand there, there's an energy barrier around me, as around you. Do you see what I mean? As around you. It's an invisible force field, but I'm not making this up. Scientifically, it can be proven. Engineering can prove this. Science can prove this. Maths can prove this. Quantum physics can prove this. But get this. Everyone has a different, um, different, um, let's say, a game. You're playing a computer game and I'm beating you. So my life source is 99%. Yours is like 1% about you're about to die. Oh, you kid. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? We're there, isn't it? We're there. I'm about to give you. You understand what I'm saying? So get this, yeah? That's what it's like. Some people are 100% physically healthy. Water connected, earth connected, sun connected, air connected, spiritually connected, mentally connected. Do you see what I mean? And now, wherever, whoever the creator is, they're much more closer to understanding because the creator is not everyone's creator because there's so much argument about who is the creator so you have to focus on who is your creator and when you're connected to that which your creator used to create you that's the only how you will get your answer but the journey the journey the journey is interesting The journey is one of knowledge, because knowledge itself. Let me let me let me tell you. This is the final thing we'll, we'll talk about here. Yeah? Let me tell you what knowledge says. Give me two sets about itself. The meaning of knowledge. The meaning of knowledge. Listen, you can control a crowd with sound. Why? Look at musicians. Look at musicians. They have you running. They have you running. Sometimes they sing, they sing freedom songs. Yeah? But get this. When you follow their freedom songs, it leads to nowhere. You understand what I'm saying? It leads to nowhere. I'm not saying they're not helping. But I'm saying, you see, in law, in law, there's a word. It's called acts. If, yeah, it hasn't been made into an act, then it means, yeah, it's not an enforceable law. But what do you think the word act actually means? It means actions. So, if it hasn't been action, then it is not law. Now, one, facts, information and skills acquired through experience or 
education. 99% of us. All the knowledge we spewed out is from education. But education is what another man has written from their experience and confirmed and has been accepted by other men who claim from their experience that they're, they're the experts of knowledge. But knowledge itself says your experience can comprise and does comprise of knowledge. But how does your experience become knowledge? You have to write it. You have to speech it. You have to examine it. You have to test it. Facts, information and skills acquired through experience or education. The theoretical or practical understanding of a subject. Simile or similar. Understanding, comprehension, grasp, grasp, command, mastery, comprehension, expertise, skills, proficiency, accomplishments, capacity, capability, savoir faire, know how, learning, erudition, education, scholarship, letters, schooling, science, wisdom, enlightenment, philosophy. Notice one thing, yeah? Schooling, education, they're all under, under, yeah? Enlightenment. Schooling, yeah, may be teaching you something, but you know that normally you go to um, um, what you call a religion for enlightenment. So, but enlightenment is under knowledge. Wisdom, they normally tell you, but wisdom is under knowledge. It's a separate entity from education. Under knowledge. Both can be acquired through experience or education. Enlightenment, philosophy. Even education is separate from philosophy. Schooling is separate. Science is separate. Information, facts, data, numbers, numbers. So someone will write a whole story without giving you any numbers. Intelligence, news, reports, without giving you any news reports. Law, info, lowdown, gen. If the information you're receiving doesn't carry any of these, then it's the opposite of similar it is ignorance and illiteracy my people said sound coffee so let me give you a little genealogy aristotle plato and socrates they went to egypt and Egyptians taught them a writing system, hieroglyphics, and an alphabet system. They brought that back to Greek. They taught their people. They, so the Egyptians have 22 phonetic alphabetic characters, and they also have hieroglyphics. So they taught that to Aristotle, Plato, and Socrates. They've taught that to their people. So the ancient Greeks also had 22 phonetic alphabetic characters with hieroglyphics. They taught that to the leaders of the English who also are Freemasons and have 22 phonetic alphabetic characters and also, as you can see in their churches, use hieroglyphics. So they follow a pattern and it all leads to Egypt. But for their people alone, the Masons did not give their people 22 phonetic alphabetic characters. They gave them 26 alpha, alpha, A to Z characters purporting to be alphabetic because the word bet means numbers fact data but there are no numbers within the alphabet of the english thus there is only alphas 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 is an alphabet system so why did they add four more characters j for the letter g for the letter john or for the word john being one of them yeah why did they add that in 1555 why did they change the template they were taught but get this the Akans, we also have 22 phonetic alphabetic characters. We also have a writing system they are called Edinkra, which is similar or which is the same as hieroglyphics. But get this, there is no historical fact other than our, our, our oral history to prove where we got it from. But there is no historical fact as well as to prove where the Egyptians got it from. 
But there is historical fact to prove where the Greeks got it from, where the Freemasons got it from, and where the English got their language from. So going forward, we will chew on that for another time. But let's start thinking again. Hey! 